Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. APA will be uploading minimum 4 videos every week. You're going to find new videos from Cooking APA YouTube channel on every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, 7pm at night. So do stay tuned, yeah? For the past two and a half years, APA has uploaded over um, 600 cooking videos on my YouTube channel. So do take a look when you are free. Now today, APA's, um, my wife, she's, um, she needs to, um, she has a potluck in her office tomorrow. So she gets APA to uh, make some vegetable curry. Now I must confess that this is not this is even though it's vegetable curry, but it is not really the vegetarian version because there are certain things which is not vegetarian. Basically, I have a chicken stock here and also some um, dried shrimp. Okay, so of course, if you want to make it totally vegetarian, you don't have to use these two. Uh, it's basically it's actually home cooking, so you decide what you want to put inside. Uh, these are the ingredients that I'm going to put. Um, perhaps uh, let's start with um, the how do we make the curry so the curry uh, base here oh by the way there are few tips here that I'm going to teach you to how to enhance the flavor of a vegetable curry okay uh, first of all let's talk about the curry paste I have about two tablespoons of uh, this is Baba's fish uh, fish curry powder okay uh, optional actually this is two tablespoons of red chili powder, one tablespoon of um, this is uh, coriander powder, and uh, one and a half tablespoon of turmeric powder. You can adjust it accordingly, but your red chili powder should be a bit more. Then after that, I have some. Uh, this is the soaked dried chili, just to add in a bit more, give it a bit more flavor and a chili fragrance and for the color yeah this will give very nice uh, reddish color to your curry later and i have one piece of um, this is two three centimeters of ginger uh, three pieces of shallot three pieces of garlic later i'm going to blend everything out you can also chop it up so i'm going to blend and then saute okay this way i put them into the same uh, plate and then another way another thing that i'm going to add to enhance the flavor of this vegetable curry is this the dried shrimp. I have about two to three tablespoons of dried shrimp here. Just quickly rinse under water. I'm going to blend it together later. This is uh, one big tablespoon of chopped tomato. Um, about one tablespoon of curry leaves. One bowl of chicken stock. Right, one bowl of chicken stock. And of course, we need some. Uh, this is um, coconut milk. Uh, this is actually I'm using coconut cream. If you have the fresh coconut milk, that's even better. And now let's look at what are the ingredients I put inside the, my curry today. The main thing will be this bentong uh, taofu, taofu puff. Yeah, bentong taofu pok. So this is actually one of the best uh, taofu pok I ever come across. Get it from bentong. Um, and I have also some, uh, this is the mini oyst king oyster mushroom. And uh, I have also have some, oh, the green bean is over there. So over here, I have the cabbage, I have tomato chunks and green bean, yeah? Green, a uh, long bean actually, long bean underneath. Here I have some uh, uh, ladies, oh no, sorry. oh, what is this called? Brinjal, sorry. This is called brinjal, cut into big chunks. Uh, why big chunks? Because uh, this will get softened later and eventually it may melt if you cook it for too long. So cut it into big chunks so that it can actually stay uh, in shape. And it can actually oxidize quite easily. So right after you cut, uh, put them, soak it under water. All right, so these are the ingredients I put. There's no rules as, as to what you want to put inside. Uh, you can put, add in some fuchu also, yeah, the dried fuchu, up to you, or the fried fuchu. It will also be very tasty. So the first thing, let's do the first thing now, I'm going to blend this. 
fact, I have a hand blender with me. Many people love to ask me uh, which hand blender I'm using. I'll be putting the information inside the description box for those who are interested. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put in the... This is the uh, dried shrimp. This will give it some seafoody flavor. Yeah, very nice to your dish, to your curry, vegetable curry. And of course, I have the soaked dried chili. Be careful with the dried chili. The buy the bigger ones because the smaller it is, the more spicy it is. Therefore, uh, buy the bigger one. The, the smaller one sometimes is too spicy. My my family cannot take it. I'm 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 okay, but my family cannot take it. So be careful when you buy your dried chili. Okay, and then just going to add a bit of um, oil to smooth the blending process. Perhaps a little bit of water as well. Sometimes if it's too dry inside, it's kind of hard to blend but don't put too much water inside too watery uh, it won't do you any good when you want to saute later okay it doesn't has to be uh, extremely fine this is after about 10 20 seconds Very fragrant. Mm. Gonna give it another maybe 20 seconds. Alright, something like this is fine. Okay, it doesn't have to be too uh, fine. Okay, I'm going to use a cast iron pot today. You can use any pot you like, no problem. So let's start with some oil. It has to be a bit more oil actually, because later all your spices and especially your powders, it's going to soak up all the oil. Okay, so first thing, we're going to uh, blend I'm sorry, saute I'm going to saute all these spices for a couple of minutes before we continue Whoops! Ah! The oil splatter because inside got water That's why I try not to add too much water Ah! Immediately it's already very fragrant Oh! Smells so good. Can you see clearly? I hope so. Okay. Uh, use medium, medium heat to slowly saute this for a couple of minutes before we continue. We will come back shortly. Um, you want to really bring out the nice fragrance. Actually, it's already very fragrant, but I want more. We'll come back shortly. All right, you can see the ch all the chili oil has uh, come out and super fragrant. This is after about only three to four minutes sauteing under medium heat. So now I'm going to put in, uh, this is the chopped uh, tomato. It's going to help to tone down the spiciness. And I put in half of the curry leaves. The tomato will also give a bit of uh, moist to your curry paste. I mean, uh, yeah, to your chili paste actually, because we haven't added in the curry yet. It can be a bit choking right now, but it's okay. It's a good chop <laughs> because it's super fragrant. Oh, I love the color. And now we can actually put in the powder. I have uh, the main thing about the. The main ingredient for the powder is actually the chili, red chili powder, coriander powder, and turmeric powder. The Baba's fish powder is uh, extra, yeah, bonus. Put it in. And when you want to put in the powder, tone down the heat to uh, low heat because 
the powder can get burned very easily. I got burned before. <laughs> so tune down the fire to the lowest. Ooh. Ooh, look at the curry paste. You can add in a bit more oil if you find the curry paste is too dry, but don't worry later, uh, it will still, the, the oil between the oil and the powder, it will actually, the oil will start to break and separate. I hope you can see clearly. Okay. Now this process also will take a bit of um, patience. Use medium low heat to slowly uh, roast or saute your curry paste. Okay, this is super super fragrant right now, I'm telling you. Let's take a couple of minutes to saute this. Keep on stirring, do not stop. And your fire, your heat must be very low, okay? Alright, I started to see the oil has started to separate. Okay, there's a sign telling you um, it is uh, almost ready. The curry paste, um, this is super fragrant, okay? And um, I added a little bit of oil also just now because it's a bit too dry. Okay. Now the next thing we do is to add in the chicken stock. Let me uh, give it a few stir. Ooh. Really nice. And some hot water. I could, I will add in more hot, uh, enough hot water to make sure the veggie can fully submerge under the water, the curry broth. Now we can raise the heat. And I'm going to get a bit more hot water here. And let's bring this to a boil. And we will continue once it is boiled. Oh, took me a while to uh, make this boil. And I leave it boil for a couple of minutes just to let the curry broth more uh, infuse yeah the, the the curry powder more infused into the broth okay um one thing i learned from uh, one of um the my indian friend is we prepare the broth with uh, um uh, give it some base saltiness and a bit of sweetness before we put in the in main ingredient okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to put in some salt okay we still can adjust to final, uh, uh, adjust to taste uh, towards uh, right before serving later, don't worry. So I'm giving it some uh, salt and sugar at this point of time. And also I'll, I'm giving it a bit of tamarind paste, this is optional. About two tablespoons of uh, tamarind paste to give it some sourish flavor, some ASEAN sourish flavor. But again, it's optional. It doesn't have to taste sourish for this. Mmm. Nice. Right. So now we can put in the brinjal. Because the brinjal is going to take long, slightly longer time to cook. Putting in the brinjal. Then my tofu. Oh, okay. I uh, the green bean. Yeah, long bean. Sorry, long beans. Together with the tomato. You can also put in some carrot if you like. The tofu puff, tau po. Okay, putting in to soak up the flavor and also the mini king mushroom this is optional if yeah. to me the main thing main ingredient here is actually the tofu puff 
And let's not forget, we still have we still have cabbage. But of course cabbage can be cooked very easily and really fast. So I'm putting it on high heat and I will let it cool for at least 10 minutes. Uh, right after, uh, maybe halfway, I will add in the cabbage and uh, the, the veggie will actually continue to release more water. That's why I'm saying we have to do some final adjusting on the salt and uh, sugar towards the end, right before serving. But still, I want to give it some base flavor so that your um, the curry broth is already salted. Yeah, and you want your uh, your brinjal together with your tofu pork to nicely soak up the savory curry curry. Okay, I want to cook this for about ten to fifteen minutes, but halfway I will put in the, the cabbage, and that's it. Okay, now I can slowly add in some of the veggie. The cabbage. I'm not sure if I can add in everything at the same time. Ta -da. Can I? Yeah, I think I can. We still have one more thing before I uh, haven't added in, which is the coconut cream. You can, of course, if you can have the coconut milk, it's even fresh coconut milk, it's even better. Right. Uh, just in case any of you want to know, many people always like to ask for details on the equipment that I'm using. This pot here is size 26. This is size 26. Okay? But of course, this is cooking a very big portion today, not my usual three adults. All right. I'm going to close this with a lid. Let it open a bit maybe. And let it cool for 10 minutes. We'll come back after 10 minutes. All right, my curry uh, broth has been cooking uh, for the past about 15 minutes under medium, medium low heat. Oh, this is super fragrant. Everything is already fully cooked, including the uh, brinjal so now I'm just going to put in coconut milk okay of course I'm using coconut cream some people ask me can I don't put coconut milk or coconut cream no problem up to you uh, this will add, give it another level of um, aero aroma together with natural sweetness not just aroma but natural sweetness some will immediately turn off the heat because they say um, usually if you cook the coconut milk, the oil and the coconut oil and coconut milk will actually start to separate. Uh, I wouldn't really worry; it will not separate so fast, uh, especially when this is not the fresh one. The fresh coconut milk can maybe can separate, but the packet one not so easy. And actually, in uh, Thailand, uh, they will purposely separate the coconut milk and the uh, oil. So, to me, it's fine. If you're scared, you can also off your fire right now, no problem. We just need to do some final seasoning. We just adjust the salt and sugar just to taste, okay? Give it some salt. With some uh, sugar. And it's done. Alright, I will curry veggie is done super aromatic super super aromatic okay so um, if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking up facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking up youtube channel thank you very much bye bye